Welcome back. Spoiler alert. As you might have just seen from the previous episode, and I'm filming a few of these back to back. We just defeated Nukin. I don't recall what horror awaits us, but I'm sure it's going to be magnificent. Not to mention, we got the light now. Also, a photo said the flip sees warning. <laughs> photo synthesis warning? I assume. <laughs> Hi, welcome. I can love you, fantastic bean. <laughs> uh, remember to leave a like, uh, please follow and leave a comment if you, well, if it isn't anything really. Oh no, wait, this way? Oh. <gasps> and this. One of those generally climbed in our window once. Or so my mom tells the story. Put his head through my brother's bedroom window. My brother was petting it. My mom was freaking out. Not waiting for this. It looks cute on a distance, but the heck, terrifying. onto something here. Some kind of secret or another. <laughs> also, if I were to hazard a guess, I think... I, th I think the brambles might be why it's called bramble. But, I mean, I've been wrong before. Still not sure how he managed to get around that fast. Thought you had it all figured out, Flower of Darkness. Was that love the irony? This darkness is blinding me. When that flower gets angry, it gets angry. <laughs> oh, there's my anger management class that I can go to. I don't think there's anyone good enough. But, but. Yes. I was so about to just jump down there. Yeah. 
land was once a peaceful kingdom with a great king. Now, his image embodied the darkness that had drowned the world in Bramble. Listen, you can't always be the peace king. You Sometimes you gotta be the party king. Or the burger king. Determined to protect. <laughs> or if we meet a dog version of that, we're keeping him. Lamus would always look after his only friend. Oh. It's so sweet. I'm here for a sweet mountain giant that, you know. Olle felt a chill as he saw the warnings for desperate mothers carrying their infants. They pleaded with them not to carry out the unspeakable acts they had set their minds to. Oh yeah, that's probably not good. I mean, you know how it goes, you leave them in the forest with a bunch of breadcrumbs that... And they'll return with owning a brand new cottage. Pretty sure that's how the Hansel and Gretel thing went. Right. Can I just maintain, like, so I grew up in the Norwegian forest. Most of my life, really, countryside forest. Um, but both in the mountains and on the seaside, seeing this, I don't, I don't even know what they're called. Uh, but uh, the little holes that the water erodes into the rock. It was, it was always so mysterious seeing those. To be fair. Even if Ola has been turned tiny hair, these are huge. <laughs> uh. Listen, I've seen Supernatural, I'm good. Assuming it's some kitchen utensils, nails, and what I'm. That's a ladle. And an iron. Also, just a ward of evil. Obviously, not working. Actually, been to a swamp like this. It is quite creepy. I actually went there with school when I was in uh, middle school. Yep, yeah, no, that, that 
that'll happen. Uh, <laughs> and we were camping there uh, as a school trip. I remember the boys in class uh, had like, uh, some of them anyway, uh, had a competition of like, seeing who can get the farthest down. <laughs> Which is insanely dangerous. But I mean, we were a group there, so you know. At some level we could protect them, but like... They found, like it wasn't this watery for most of it, it was just kind of... It seemed soggy. But if you jumped off the bridge, as they did, you just bloop. It, like, I can't imagine being back in the day and, like, I don't know, riding through the forest or just walking through the forest, really, and then at yeah, the crown just disappearing, swallowing you. Uh, I, I fully understand how you get all these myths and demons about it. This is no place for decent folk. Ooh, I think I was close to losing there. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with a no on that one. Yeah, no, I, I think I mentioned it in the first episode, and uh, it's just so fascinating to me, because... Like, a lot of this, like a solid 80% of this, is like the fairy tales I grew up with, and... Sure, they, they might have seemed a little bit spooky, but you know, it was just spoken words. It was fine. Or like oh, silly fairy tales, and then, but at least when you learned uh, what fairy tales were, just cautionary tales to keep kids away from well swamps, like the forest in general. Which fair? Um, but. Getting it visualized like this, <laughs> of course, in a horror game as well. Like I don't think it would have the same effect if it was uh, Disney happy. But it, it, it makes it so real. Um, in all fairness, it's both wonderful and terrifying. What these the uh, blurs have done? Like, I... They brought our tales to a whole new level, and I, uh, I absolutely love it. <laughs> I actually don't know this tale, though. Like, th this is the one I'm missing. I And I, I really need to sit down and research it, because... Like, I'm wondering if it's... Uh, is it, like, very specifically regional, or is this maybe... I don't know, Danish, Swedish? No, it's... It's say Nordic and I believe Scandinavian folklore, but let's be fair, we could share a few tales with the Pins, I would imagine. Maybe? I don't know. Ah, the door of the devil. I know it well. <laughs>
first of all. <laughs> Ravens, or crows for that matter, we're supposed to be friends. I feel betrayed. <laughs> so heckin' betrayed. Stay hydrated. Fair trigger warning, you see where this is going. Uh, this is gonna be the darkest moment in the game. Behold the transmutation into gold. Soon a god emerges from the mold. No longer human, brittle, and alone. A god is reborn seated on a throne. I don't know about that. Kind of looked like a devil, but hey. Who am I to judge? There's not a You know what? Well, that's on me. Oh, she lost her marbles. of things obviously but weak frame just climb through it's fine that's probably very sharp and ouchy speaking of which that's why i always say uh, i want uh, i want like a proper virtual reality horror game so i can you know like take the first rest in the old game like okay sure the doors are locked and whatnot fair what sane person wouldn't just take an axe and just bash through a wall? Like, I don't care how long it would have taken. That's what I do. And you might. Which was ahead of him. 
Olla knew he had to hurry before she could complete the ritual. If he did not catch up with the woman, the swamp would swallow another child. But he did not know that someone else wanted to hold him back. A midwife who wanted more dark souls to take care of. Spoiler alert. I mean, listen, I think she claimed more than enough souls. This combines like all my fears. Water and time pressure. <laughs> yeah. Remember to do a back scratch before spooky stuff happens. Because I mean, I'm not making any promises, but that doesn't look. to use it. <laughs> Honestly, the dress helps. It makes you look less dangerous, but still pretty. Still pretty freaky. So far, this is a pretty chill battle, but the music and the tension is <laughs> horrible. That's the worst. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> this is how good this game is like i played it all on saturday less than a week ago and it still gets me <laughs> in all fairness that could speak more about me though so i'm willing to accept that 
Not quite sure what that means. Well, I'll get down. I went from being kinda in the chest to kinda exhausted. That was so. Uh. That's probably not a good sign. <laughs> I actually had that discussion with a co worker today. I, I know it's an old meme, but you know the fact that tigers have like spots on the back of their hair? Which is very much just most likely to simulate eyes, right? To ward off something. Kind of like the same thing here. Like the brambles. A tiger in this scenario. I'm afraid of that, but it is obviously afraid of something as well. <laughs> I don't want to meet whatever it's afraid of. Procedure really, right? No? Totally okay with that. Be gone, spirits of this is so many spirits. I mean now that we know what they are, how much darkness has happened here?
that much. It's gonna get worse, so again, trigger warning. I'll skip to the next episode if you want. This is not getting better. Before next episode, obviously. And this is why. Like, I understand this is our myths and folklore and warnings and whatnot, but this is just sad. Point for it to stop being terrifying or dark, really, it's just sad. too late. At least he could give the child a proper burial, so that it would not become another dark soul. There was a light in the darkness. Hi. Guilt and sorrow weighed him down, but the warm glow felt comforting. All survivors' guilt, because it, it wasn't his fault by any means. Follow the light, Tuva had said, and he trusted her. was older than the mountain, almost as old as the world itself. Literally as fast as the lantern man. He was the keeper of secrets, the gatherer of stories. Magdalena had waited for a long time, and at last she was expecting a child. This is the difference between older fairy tales. Like, this one starts off good. It doesn't start off in a time of darkness and our hero will unfold, you know, vanquish the darkness. No, no. She gave birth to the longed for son, and they named him Ulrich. But suddenly, Doctors crowded around the queen's bed. Magdalena succumbed to the labors of childbirth. The love of his life was gone. Weighed down by sorrow, King Nils approached his autumn. Meanwhile, Ulrich grew into a young boy full of life. Prince was the only thing that kept the darkness at bay in his heart. One day, Prince Ulrich fell ill. The doctors tried everything, but he grew weaker and weaker. 
they told King Nils about a mythical flower that witches were rumored to use to heal any illness. King Nils searched the whole kingdom for the flower to no avail, and his campaign soon became a gruesome witch hunt. I'm gonna say I understand, but I, I don't, obviously. Uh, but it can be understandable that, you know, loss of his wife and, and the, a sickly child could drive him to absolute madness, but a king turning against his people on the hunt for that cure, like, that, that's not gonna end well either way. His path was lined with the witches he had slain, but the flower was nowhere to be found. Yeah, now you made yourself an enemy of the people. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is not shared than what happened a second ago, but you know, it's a better place. So we're gonna end it for now. Thank you all for being here. Remember to press the like button, please follow, and leave a comment. Be it whatever you want to be, joke, technical issue you have with the footage, whatever. Anything helps tell you. We're gonna continue this at a later date. I love this game. It's absolutely amazing. Until next time, may all stay beautiful, stay safe, and wash your damn hands, and be kind to each other. Remember you're loved. You're heckin' sweet bean. I'll see you in the next episode.